Hey guys, I'm back. It's Luca Mundo, and I have the very cool pleasure of introducing a game to you that I was contacted about by the developers. It was developed by a two-man team over the course of the whole COVID pandemic. You know, that little thing that happened from the end of 2019 till, well, kind of now. Um, these guys decided to, hey, let's whip up a game, and so uh, this is just such a cool, it has such an old-fashioned retro feel, kind of has a mix between um, several different games, actually. Let's just kind of get into it, so I'm going to do a new game. Uh, I love orange, so we're going to go with orange. Kingdom Leukemia. Let's try that one. Uh, and let's go ahead for it. Now I'm going to introduce you to all the tutorial bits that are here. They're kind of tips. Uh, you can rotate with uh, Q and E, move around with W, A, S, and D. Unfortunately, that's actually the only way to control the camera for now. Uh, I have a feeling they're going to be adding more. You can zoom in and out with your scroll key, uh, but you have to move the camera around. Uh, you cannot even go to the edges with your mouse. Uh, you have to move it around with your W, A, S, and D keys. So this game is a, a game where you have research. It's a passive research scenario. This is where you have to research uh, an individual item, uh, and it just takes some time. Now, it doesn't show you here. That's one of the creature comforts that is 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 missed. However, you do see it up here in the queue, and, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let's go ahead and do agriculture. And let's go straight to Q, and there it is. It's queuing up. Okay, uh, so, uh, all right. Now, unfortunately, you can't navigate around. I'm hitting W, A, S, and D. Uh, you can't move around with the queue open, so that's okay. I really kind of have enjoyed trying to play this. So, I haven't played too much of it. I've played just enough to get my whistle wet, if you will, and then... I really want to dive into it for the first time with you guys. So let's get going. Here's the map. Uh, you hit this key here. This is the map and you can zoom in and out and there are going to be uh, other players on the map. Now, the the black or dark gray is Fog of War as we know it from every other game in existence. Uh, and the Fog of War is represented by these clouds. Now, these clouds are really cool because you can actually see through the clouds. And if you know where the enemy is, you can actually kind of spy on what they look like. Now, what am I on an island? Uh, wow, it's almost like I'm on an island, but not quite. Let's go ahead over here. I'm going to hold my shift key, zoom a little faster. Now, I have a feeling I could get lost here, but thankfully on the map, this red triangle is my position and my camera angle. So what do we need to do first? We need to build. We need to build a log hut. And you just simply go ahead and click the build button. And then you don't left click, you right click, and it starts building it. And right now it's building, so there's the queue. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do some other things. So let's get, I really want to get crop farming going at some point. But uh, let's do, where is it? So I want stone cutting and I want architecture. So I'm going to need math after the stone cutting. So for now, let's go, whoopsie, let's go in and let's do a dwelling. Let's build a dwelling. And that dwelling is gonna take a bit of time. So we're just gonna have to sit and wait. Now there is things like diplomacy. I thought that was super cool. Um, here you can view the manage and manage your relations to other kingdoms. Be careful who you trust. Very good advice. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's just kind of see what's going to happen here. I'm going to kind of wait for this to build. And as well, I'm going to get a couple of troops going. So when you create a troop, so we'll create two. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and read these couple of notes here. So left click and drag to select your troop, then right click the location and move. Cool. Select your troops and right click on an enemy building to pillage it. Awesome. So here are my troops. And I love the the super simple effect of these troops. Little sword little man, little tidbits that equal their legs. Like, it's just it's just so cool. Um, we do have a random person walking around. They must have gone inside, yes. Um, so it looks like everything is done. So let's go back to research. Let's do math here, and we'll wait the five seconds. All right, so once that changed from yellow to blue, then we know it's done. We're gonna research architecture. The reason why I wanna do that is because I want to get a mine and it requires architecture one. But for now, let's go ahead and build a farm or maybe two. I don't know, should I build two? Yes, I really should build two. 
I'm not going to get any defense going as of yet as far as walls. Um, I honestly, which way are they again? Uh, let me see. So they're way down there. Okay. Uh, and I am facing that direction currently. I think the arrow is, you know, the point is the direction I'm facing. So yes, that would make sense. That would make complete sense. Yes. All right. I've decided to build one more farm and I noticed the guy coming in. So we are going to take him out, fight him, fight him guys, take him out. Come on, kill him, kill him. Wow, I'm attacking faster than he is. I don't know if that's really legit animation, uh, but we did it. Hey, we def okay, guys, we defended against our first wave of enemies. I don't know if that actually counts, but hey, we're taking the win. We can build a mine, and this is probably the most important building in the game. Unfortunately, it's also one of the only ones that you can only build a limit of one on. All right, so now we our food rate is saying negative 100. I don't know if that is uh, that that must be a good thing. I'm assuming um, it is going up more than it's going down. So that that's pretty much what we wanted to know. Uh, let's go and so it says I've got 12 population, two soldiers, and three idle people. Uh, so let's get uh, a dwelling. Now we can rotate, let's do E to, uh, excuse me, R to rotate. Let's get a dwelling in there and let's go ahead and start preparing our walls. So what should we do? Build a wall, maybe, uh, maybe, oh, that angle, rotation angles. Oh, just a slight bit off. I wanted it more across like this, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead like, oh, no, nope, uh, nope, stop turning, nope, and nope, okay. Uh, looks like we've got another guy coming in. We are gonna hit him hard. Okay, good. We did it. All right. I thought one of our guys dropped dead too. Uh, we didn't want that. So we've got some walls being built. Let's go to our research. Let's get um, uh, military. Let's get some military and then maybe culture after that. Although that is military is only 10 culture is 30. So hmm, kind of a little bit figuring it out. I love the day night cycle. That's pretty good this has such a cool feel to it um and good nice wall awesome now another thing i'm gonna point out that kudos to the developers on this uh, the gates okay uh i am a huge fan of uh gates that actually have automation to that uh, i mean that have mechanation i guess where they actually move and these gates actually can move yes um it's just cool it's just cool to see things like that so you'll see it uh once it's completed but we're not going to wait around for that let's go ahead and get culture going and let's see what we can do i really want to collect more stone but i th oh oh i do know that this thing can be upgraded but i need mining and architecture too yikes um mining and architecture architecture <laughs> architecture uh, so architecture two and where's mining? Oh mining. Okay. How much is mining two minutes? Ouch I don't know if I'll survive two minutes uh, But let's get our troops kind of at the border here uh, And that's almost complete So when you go ahead and build more troops uh, These troops will just appear at the town hall uh, or the keep, excuse me, town hall keep, uh, probably similar. Um, now, oh, who is this? Si de la Jaye, I don't know the names, but uh, Cassian de la Jaye, Jaye, hoy. Um, you can tell that I am great at words. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Uh, so I do know that somehow you can like unassign and reassign things, but I think you have to have more equipment. I don't know how to build any of this stuff right at the moment. Um, so we have leather, gamma cinder, and brigadine, chain mail, plate armor. Okay, that's good to know. So the color is how what armor type they have that that's 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 very good that's that's really good to know so the fact that these guys all running around are peach color does that mean they're naked and they don't have any any, any clothing on at all <laughs> oh, that would be funny all right so the tavern uh this thing is handy because it does boost our uh production of stone wood and uh, what was it St uh, uh yep i gotta read it again 
uh, Tavern uh, is a building that proves production rates for wood, stone, and iron uh, production rates. That's awesome. By 15%. Yeah. I like that. Uh, looks like we can upgrade this, although we still need mining. So let's go to mining and let's research that. Looks like we've got a little peon, a couple little peons coming in. Should I chase them? Uh, let's 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 get on this side of the wall at least. That way we can hit them before they hit us. Oh, and here we go, guys. Ready, ready, ready. Open the gate. Yes, look at that. See that? That's just so simple. Now I want to see, like, can these guys walk through it? I'm assuming they can. Now I am right clicking right now. There is no indicators. That is one of the creature comforts that we do not have in this game. So let's close the gate. Can they go through? Okay, so the moment you hit close, it is a closed door, no matter how long the animation takes to close it. Got it. Um, so yeah, creature comfort. You don't see your little ping dot on the ground when you are moving your guys around. That's fine. We can handle that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tower in. Why? Because I can. That is why. Right click a tower with a soldier to select the place them on the tower. Make sure they have a bow. Okay, cool. Uh, I love that. Make sure they have a bow. I mean, look at this. This is such a cool, simple looking, but I love the aesthetic. I love the art style. It really is cool. It's sim it's It's got a simplicity, but super easy to understand. That is a farm. This looks like a logging hut. Why? Because it's got a tree with some logs. These, well, that that looks like just someone's house. It really does. The tavern, uh, does it have a patio? Oh, it does. Look at that. I mean, that's just cool. What does a clock tower do? It boosts building speeds. Cool. I do want to get the blacksmith, but I need weapons one. Weapons one. Weapons one. Very good. Let's do it. We are going to send our little teeny weeny force of four out and beyond. We do know that they've been attacking from this direction. So let us go out here. We're going to send them out a little ways, but we are going to stay and hang back and see to the population. Uh, I do want to get some more dwellings going. Ooh, like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, let's do that one. I love the way that the fog of war disappears and then kind of reappears where you, you haven't, you're not at the moment. Um, I love that. I absolutely love that. Now, do we see? Oh, wow. They are, whoa, they are so far down there. I am, I am so far away. Um, okay, well, uh, okay, kind of fine. We're going to go way down here. And I think I've found them, I think. Uh, yes, I have. I have found them. So we're going to bring them way down here. We are going to get a blacksmith together. Fantastic. And let's put the blacksmith like right near the wall. I have a feeling. Now, what does a blacksmith do? It says, uh, helps your kingdom gain access to more advanced weaponry and armor for your troops to use. Fantastic. Speaking of troops, where are they? They're somewhere way over there they are my goodness i kind of have to remember that they're this far over uh looks like someone's built a church on the edge of a uh huh okay all right uh is that a it's a port cool uh, i thought it was a church kingdoms enemy enemy and dead killed by alba oh great okay so one kingdom's already destroyed and the other kingdom is my and Oh, this kingdom's completely destroyed. Uh, can I take it over? I don't know. I don't know. But they are coming back to my place, and I couldn't attack them, but I'm a little bit worried. Where Where is my place? There we go. We're going to send my troops back for now. We're going to kind of hide back here while I wait for things to build. All right, looks like my blacksmith is good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new army dude, create a new troop, and this is Mr. Mercer, right? Is that who I have to select? Yes, I do. Now I can pick, ooh, nice, a lance, a shield, and a gabison, right? Let's do that, and let's see this really awesome individual. Fantastic, so I don't have to build it, I just have to have the blacksmith and he makes it for us. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room regarding the oncoming soldiers. There they are. Okay. Uh, 
so stay back here. I don't know. I'm kind of concerned because these guys are, I mean, they're just coming in. Uh, and I tried attacking them, but they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't engage. So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, create several more troops. Um, and I'm going to give them lances and shields. Uh, I think those are appropriate. Yes, there we go. Um, you're attacking me. I'm a little bit confused at the moment, and it could be that they died, but they were my enemy, so their troops uh, are, you know, just attacking me, I guess. Not quite sure. Not, not entirely sure of the situation. I'm going to let them just sit there and, uh, ooh, can I upgrade? I can't upgrade yet. I need diplomacy. Okay, so let's do diplomacy, and then we can upgrade the keep. That's going to be excellent. Okay, here we go. Now we're fighting. Uh-oh. Uh, they have a lot of soldiers that I'm worried about, but looks like my spearmen are... are can, can you attack, please? So did I lose anyone? I didn't. Look at that. Four and three. Fantastic. We did an awesome job. Let's go ahead. I'm proud of you guys. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. So that means... What does the black mean? Let's see. Three health, zero kills. 14 health to get proficiency. I, I'm not quite sure what the red means. I'll have to figure that out as I go. Oh, we've got more guys incoming. Can I pull back? I can't pull back. So uh, we've got to move in. Go, 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 go. Oh, they've got a red guy, huh? They've got a red guy. Let's go in. Okay. All right. I think we got him. Uh, I do want to go ahead and I want to research a little bit more. Let's go ahead to this trade. Trade allows market to build your kingdom. They'll help you increase material and food research. How well, maybe I'm going to do armor and no weapon. Ooh, <gasps> artillery. Let us get artillery going. That is going to take three and a half minutes. Ouchie. Wow. Uh, we've got an estate. Let's go ahead and get one more estate because we want a nobles. We're going to get a barracks. I think the barracks would be great. And let's put the barracks like over here. Like, you know, like the. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. So it keeps on telling me about uh, when I'm too far away uh, that, you know, like this yellow area that it's going to put it in a new like you can only have two different town locations. I mean, it's it's cool, you know, that's that's cool to know. Um, but uh, I don't need two different town locations. I want to be right here for now. We are going to migrate closer. This place will just have all of our resources and we'll migrate closer. But we need to get research going more. Artillery is a coming. So as I sit here and wait, I kind of wanted to give a little bit of feedback for the developers here. So uh, first off, thank you for the key that you guys have, have given me so that I could uh, review this for you and show you uh, uh, this gameplay. This is pretty cool, uh, and I do appreciate uh, that for sure. And reaching out, it's been an awesome communication with you guys. Um, so a couple of things that I'd love to see is first off a, a fast forward button, something where you can speed up time. Uh, that way the research can go a little bit quicker because there's a lot of time where I'm just sitting there waiting for that uh, research to complete, waiting for the thing to finish. Um, and so, yeah, so I think another thing would be great is to actually see the ping on the ground when you move your troops around. That would be great. Also seeing health bars. I think it would be good to see health bars. Uh, I do see the 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 colors and and I get it that, that you know it tells me how much health they have left, but uh, the health bar doesn't really you know 14, 14, 20, 20. So I get it here, but it'd be nice to see it here, a nice visual little little tiny health bar at the top. I think would be really cool. Um, but overall, kudos to you guys. You have done a fantastic job on this, especially for a COVID game, is what I like to call them. Uh, and this is this is uh, this is really good work, really good work indeed. Um, so I've got the barracks up, and it tells me that w when I read the barracks, it says uh, it can provide small amount of healing to nearby troops. Okay, so that's good. So will I see their health? increase let's see three five and six so mr mercer has a uh, 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 three uh so I, i'm not quite sure and now i love the proficiency i'm kind of curious what the proficiency is does that mean the dagger's in proficient or or what you know 
Um, also, I see that these things cost. Now, equipment, does that mean that in when I click that, like for instance, if I click it, oh, that, that is so cool. Okay, so every time I click it, it's it's grabbing those resources to build that instantly. That's pretty cool, actually. I think that's pretty pretty cool indeed. Um, also, obviously, as we know, there's a few things here where we've got, uh, I don't know, whatever these guys are doing, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, but overall, this is a pretty cool cool game i i have been enjoying it uh even just this this population building it's so simple but yet so satisfying you know i i i've got all these places oh, what does a port do by the way build a port to be able to explore the world by seas nice okay so i did not actually expect that oh is um yeah it is done okay so let's go to the uh no it's actually here artillery yes so i have to construct nice Ooh, a trebuchet let's go ahead and get a catapult actually i want two catapults why not now i noticed it doesn't take people will people be assigned to it later on i don't know uh, also, how do I construct it? L oh, 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 okay. All right, cool. Space to press space to aim. <gasps> right, right. Cool. It, it, I mean, it, it, it may, maybe it only can target uh, uh, enemies. You know what? We're going to go try it out. So let us take our whole army. Let us first see, did it heal any of my army? It did. Mr. Mercer had 13. He still had five. So I'm wondering if you had to be within this little area here. So I'm going to go ahead. Can I right click? No, uh, I'm going to bring these back, bring the catapults over. Now, another thing is I cannot click on individual guys. I have to draw the box around it. Eh, not quite the best scenario, but it's 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 OK. Uh, it, you know, it's 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 better to to be able to click individual ones, like it can click the buildings, you know, click the individual guys. Speaking of guys, we need to build more, create more. I want a whole entire force. Uh, now, can I do, I can't. I really want to build archers. How do I get archers? I guess I need to go here. Info, arch, bow. Weapons two, okay. So I need weapons, weapons, we weapons two, there it is. So, unfortunately, while I was away, they decided to attack. They killed both of my catapults. Plus, they decided to destroy my barracks. Wonderful. Uh, but we will get them back. We're going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, 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 I need a... Oh, I need a barracks. Bummer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for that barracks to build up. All right, so I have some bowmen, I've got swordmen, I've got spearmen. Yeah, this is a much more formidable, for absolutely formidable team. Uh, we are waiting for the barracks to finish here. Uh, but in the meantime, it looks like I'm running a little bit low on our population. Let's go ahead and get some dwellings in here. Uh, let's, uh, can I build one right there? Yes, I can. Uh, so this is our little hamlet. Uh, it's not too bad. So the clock tower says that it boosts building speed by 25%. And I like that. I think that that's worthy. I'm also building a li- well, I, you know, I, I was building a library. Um, build a library, you can research a one plus subject at once. So I just need some wood. Oh dear, I need some wood. Uh, I can't build a log hut either. Uh, that would be bad. Let's go ahead and let's build another log hut so that we can be producing more than just the, the, the measly wood production that we are doing currently. Then after we get everything all done, we are going to produce uh, catapults and we are going on the march. <laughs> all right, we're taking one catapult and we are headed down, my friends. We are headed down. We are going to try and take out the enemy. We're going to congregate right here at this little field uh, while, uh, yeah, there they go. And let's go ahead and look at my research. Let's go for uh, some religion, I suppose. Um, we're going to go ahead toward the old abandoned city that I had found previously. And you know what? 
I want to start a new forward base. So let's go ahead and let's get a barracks and let's build a barracks right here. Yes, create an outpost. Let's go ahead and get a wall up and going here. Yeah, let's uh, get this going. All right, so we're gonna keep my catapult out of it. We're gonna go ahead and take my troops, my very skilled troops, and we are going to march. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and engage here. How are my troops doing? Uh, only a couple are, are injured, that's fine. All right, here's that old abandoned town. Uh, let's go check it out. Let's see how they did. How many times does it take to, to kill a, a state? No idea, but we're going to go this direction. We're going to find the real trouble. There they are. Whoa. Wow. What a place. Uh, we're going for it. We are going for it. We are going to gather on the outskirts, and we are going to attack and that's what I am looking forward to. Wahahaha. We're going to also go ahead and get some more troops. Um, so I first need to zoom all the way back here. And I am going to build another estate, probably. Yes. Uh, because, well, actually, no. It's actually more efficient to build dwellings, even though they just take up more space. Um, so I want a dwelling there. And I want a dwelling, oh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and rotate a little bit. Can I squeeze it in somewhere? Oh, I can squeeze it right there, sure. Too bad you can't spawn men at the barracks. Can I upgrade this? No, I need architecture three. I want armor two and I want, where's architecture three? Oh, oh, oh and sailing, very, very cool. All right, guys, we are ready. Uh, to engage let's go ahead and uh get close enough i hope that that actually hit i'm i'm uh, honestly i'm not quite sure at this point i don't i don't know so these guys are the al albas i guess uh they have uh quite a few troops yikes but my troops seem to be more skilled, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Yay, there we go. I want to go ahead and I want to... I got to wait for him to load. And then, can I not hit the... So I can't hit the walls? Really? So how do, how do you get in through the walls if you can't hit the walls? You know what? I need a battering ram. Oh, you know, I should have thought of that. So you have to have all the different pieces in order to... Got it. I see, I see. We are going to go ahead and add some more troops, but this time these guys are gonna be the elite. They are going to have shields, lances, brigade, yeah, br brigadines, lance, shield, brigadine, and then sword, shield, brigadine, S uh, sword, shield, and brigadine. And then this last guy will have a bow with brigadine. Here we go. Can he have a dagger and a bow? That would be nice. Okay. So these guys are ready. Um, so I'm going to move them out to the uh, barracks here. The kind of my, my, my forward operating base. All right, guys. Well, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to call it quits there for now. This has been a really fun preview of the game. I am really honestly excited to see how it's going to develop, to be honest with you. Uh, I really think that this has potential. Uh, it's got all the pieces and parts to it. You know, tweaking here and there would be great. But, uh, you know, it's a really solid start, and I've had a blast. Uh, this, is, this has been a pretty fun playthrough. Uh, I think the AI for the... The enemies could be updated a little bit. I'm not quite sure if there are difficulty settings or not. But um, for the most part, I like it. I like it. I think the art style and the way that they demonstrate these guys doing the jig. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think that uh, I think it's really cool. I really do. Uh, let's uh, let's see where my other guys are at. OK, so so they're right here. So I'm assuming that he can right click and hit a wall, right? I'm just going to test it right here so he can actually hit that wall yes and swing hey there it goes all right so 
Uh, let's, can I, yes, very good. Okay, so that's how you, that's how you use the battering ram. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I might even have a part two of this game in the future, but I have really enjoyed uh, going through this review and seeing how it works. I think the battle mechanics are kind of cool. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much. I will catch you on the next playthrough. This has been a modest legacy. I will see you guys next time. Later.